Was this a new glucose monitor? Let's find out. Well, hello everybody, Corey Express 2 here, and welcome back to yet a new video on my channel. Before I begin on this particular video, please make sure to hit that sub button, turn that notification bell, follow everything in the description down below, even your video ideas, send them in via email, and I will take a look at your request. You can comment on this video or other videos on my channel, and please make sure to follow me on TikTok because... That way you can see what I'm doing on TikTok. And of course, give you guys an update on TikTok as well. So without further ado, let's get started. Was this a new glucose monitor device? Is it really worth it? Let's find out. This is the Dexcom G7. And if you don't know what a Dex Dexcom is, it monitors your glucose readings. And since I have a type 2 diabetics, uh, my insurance covers the... The, the Dexcom G7. I heard a lot about this device and this will save my fingers from getting pick, pricked every time and, you know, doing my blood drawing and stuff like that. Um, if you guys don't know that I do my type 2 on this device right here and um, I'm going to save my fingers instead of having my fingers, you know, reading every time. It's going to be a little monitor device, which is this receiver and one more receiver that I have, and it goes with the device. It has a uh, self uh, Bluetooth device, and this will be good for 10 days. Um, I am going to show you guys a little demo on how to, you know, put it on, and then I'm going to show you guys, you know, everything coming out of the box of the receiver. Uh, this has about a a a uh, cool down timer i think it's either 10 minutes and then it fully functions after like 30 minutes but i have to kind of read on this device a little more and do my little research here um this you can actually put on your uh, phone as well and i can be able to show you guys after i set up the receiver and hopefully uh this receiver we read accurate information um, I will be coming back every 10 days to switch out. So you guys will see me uh, switch the uh, little little uh, monitor device here. Um, you have a grace period of 12 hours after the expire, the expire um, monitor here. This sticks on your skin. So I'm just letting you know, this will stick, stick on your skin. Um, there is some method to go through and hopefully you guys will see me uh live in action or actually here on youtube and tiktok give a little demo on how this works and hopefully you guys will see me uh come back and exchange out every 10 days uh they give me a live uh, like a a th uh, like a 30 day supply of this particular uh need i call it a needle but it's a reading but they uh because of my insurance is uh Every, th every uh, 30 days, they refill my stuff. So I have three of these boxes. One is already open because I wanted to make sure everything was there. Um, you will get the, of course, the reader, the little thing that sticks on your skin, the um, the um, pads and stuff. And I'm going to show you guys uh, when I switch over there on the, on the you know, on, the, on my bed so you guys will see everything in the box. Um, I do have to read more a little bit more before I start, so you guys will see that I might come back in a few seconds, and hopefully you guys will see me uh, read the instructions that is actually in this box, so I can get started on the Dex Dexcom. I sounds like I call it Dotcom, but I said uh, it's Dexcom. So yeah, let me just get let me look see how this works, and I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, I have my setup here. So the receiver is here and I'm gonna show you guys uh, what you get in these uh, 
little receiver slash, you know, Bluetooth device. Um, I'm going to open it for you guys so you guys will see. Um, if you're a type 2, you probably already know the drill already. So when you open it, there's some uh, several instructions on how to put it on and how to do the requirements. I had the other one open, but I want to show you guys the... Uh, the, the full details of what's inside of the box. So in the inside of the box, you would get the the uh, pad, of course, the instructions. Um, you also will get the uh, this little you know injector for your you know you can put it on your stomach or your back of, of where your butt cheeks is and upper arms or the the shoulder whatever you get places to get a particular reading. Um, so that comes in this box here. So if you pull out this pad, this is the pad to seal it tight. Uh, and I'll show you guys uh, a little, uh, a little uh, how to put it on your skin. Um, it will come with the uh, manual, like I said, and the regulations and all that kind of stuff that you know every box does receive. This is just the this is that that book look. Here is the instructions on how to put your device on that little gadget I showed you earlier. The receiver, I want to show you guys that this is a full receiver, but you could also download the app too on the phone via code. And every single box that you receive the little device comes in with the uh, instructions on how to put it on. This is the instructions on how to put the actual little device on your skin. Um, let me read you the basics. Uh, sensor and applicator, which is that what I was showing you. This is a sensor, by the way. I forgot, I, I call it a device, but it's a sensor when you have to put it in the skin. It says, uh, during step, we show you how to use the applicator to insert on built-in sensors under your skin. Uh, and it will tell you, uh, you can choose your back of your arms, your 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 belly joint, your I don't know about your leg, but it sometimes you know recommend it sometimes in that area. Uh, first, you gotta wash your hands, make sure you have a alcohol swab, and then you can be able to put it on your skin. I'm gonna show you guys that later on. You can download the app via Android or iOS device. And and like it says, you wait every 10 days, but you have a 12 hour grace period to actually switch out the sensor, which is this and for a new one. And then you can put the new sensor code on the the receiver and of course the the actual you know app device too. And once that 12 hour from your old sensor is up, it switch over to the new new sensor and you're ready to go. Uh, it says wash hands with soap and water, dry, rub site with alcohol, unscrew the cap. Uh, let's see here, insert the, the green pad and you can do it on the app too. It says also relax the muscle joint and put put the you know the center on the on the skin really good. Um, where is it? Doesn't say the twelve hour period here on this paper somewhere. I, I'll probably have to find it. Do, 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 do. Okay. The longer you keep the pads dry and sweat free for the first 12 hours, the longer it may stick to the skin. Um, this is, I know no my thing says uh, every every 10 days. After the every 10 days, uh, you have to put a new one. Before the before your 10th days up, you have 12 hours on 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 the last day to exchange it for the new one, and it's still warmed up, ready to go. So. Oh, uh, I thought I saw it at first. <laughs> do, 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 do. I'm just trying to go here real quick here.
Nope, I don't see it, but yeah, I learned from the from the basics. So in the receiver, I'm gonna put this on the side. You get like I got three of these because it was supposed to last every 30 days for my insurance, so that's that's pretty good. I'm gonna put everything back in the box. In the sensor box here, and not the sensor, but the receiver, sorry. The receiver box, you will get the receiver, and I'm going to uh, try my best to get a scissors. I don't have scissors. Actually, I can use something else than the scissors. I got to open the, the tape seal to do this. break the seal so once I open this you guys will see it so in the uh, receiver you get the the instruction manual how to do it you also get the uh, the device as well um, some you know FCC rules and stuff the device as well because um, you know you get the receiver and read your uh, sensor all the time and again this is you know, a 10 day and then you got to switch out. You you have like 12 hours on the last day to, you know, switch it out. And again, this is the manual for the device. It tells you, you know, what to, you know, what to do in operations too as well. Um, So that's it for that part there. Next is in the box, you get the charger for the receiver. And of course, the adapter to you know plug it in if it go, goes dead too. Um, I don't know how many hours does it last. I think it lasts about at least about maybe seven to ten days on a charge. It depends on you know if you're gonna use the the actual the receiver or you or you could uh, have it on your phone and. That'll be uh, cool if you got both devices. I think you up, you got up to three the device to yeah three devices to um to receive the you know your monitor your monitor. Let me see here. Use up to three display devices. Get your glu glucose information on your phone, Apple Watch, the doc the Dexcam receiver. You can set up the app, the receiver or both or uh, sorry or or both in either order for support smartphones and operations system go to the the dexcom.com capabilities and that's what the extraction says so that's about it um i wanted to power this up but they said not to power it up just yet because um, I think you have to have it warmed up for at least a half an hour. If not, then it's uh, different. I can probably go to the... I, I have the extraction, but it didn't say about waiting about 30 minutes. Um, I will come back, like I said, to see if they... Uh, see if they said 30, 30 minutes or uh, a minute. Oh, right here. Here we go. I found it. Let's see. Carefully pull off the uh, both clear li uh, lin uh, liner. Rub area over pads. Go back to the app or receiver to finish steps. After inserting and powering the uh, follower location guidelines for throwing the throw out the applicator and recycle the uh, Dexcom. Three, sensor warm-up. Sensor warm-up timer tells you when you start getting readings and alerts. Go to G7 user guide to find out more. So I have to go to the user guide to find out more. Guide, guide, guide. Uh, these are the FCCs. I'm like looking for it. User guide. Okay, receiver starts here. Okay, here we go. It's in the... Uh, this pamphlet here it will tell you too everything everything you 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 know if you're setting up and unboxing the docs the uh, dexcoms g7 
I will, it will give you everything. Uh, sensor and applications, inserting the patch. Is this going to tell me everything? Okay, here we go. Oh, it's in Spanish and English. Uh, da, da, da. I have to flip over. All right, setting up receiver. Uh, three to five seconds, turn on the sensor. I'll go to your receiver in the box, the online user guys. Uh, shows you how to, you know, power it on, but I don't see, I don't see, uh, yeah, I don't see anything about, you know, how long do you have to actually wait? Oh, right here in the green book. Here we go. And I'm going to find it and I'll be right, right back, you guys. Alrighty, so I am back. Yes, it is a 30 minute wait. And it will give you the first reading. But when you start putting it on your skin, it does already have that warm up of like a minute or two, but you won't get any readings for about 30 minutes every time. And I'm going to show you the steps and stuff, how to set up the receiver after I put in the sensor, which is this little device here. And hopefully you guys will see me insert it on my skin a little later on in this video. So how cool is this? And it saves my fingers for being pricked all the time from the glutinous monitor that I had. Oh, you know, this is my old device here. And if my sensor doesn't work, I'll be using this in case, you know, something happens to the, the Dexcom G, uh, G7. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on with the Dexcom, so hopefully I can be able to uh, fulfill and, and give you guys an update within the six day period. And then I'll come back on the 10th day uh, so you guys will see me insert a new one. And I might be doing that on either TikTok or YouTube. So don't forget to follow me on TikTok and don't forget to sub my, my YouTube channel because I do things like this. So you guys will see see me uh every time when i do a good video so yeah so enough chit chattering let's go and insert this dexcom g7 Alrighty, guys so i'm a little set up a little different so you guys see a uh portrait of me doing this so i got the sensor ready and you know and you know ready to put on my skin um so again you will get like a little, a little sealer, and you know try try my best to put it out of here. I don't know if you guys will see it there, but I might put it like right here. Um, to do it, and this is my first time doing this. I have to take an alcohol swab because I already washed my hands. Kind of like place it right here. Let this air dry for a little bit. Usually I cover the, the little area here so that way, you know, I get the whole entire area. Now, since there's no sealer here, nothing, you know, in the front, nothing breaking the seal. Once I twist this cap, it's going to come, that cap is going to come right off. So I'm twisting it. Little sensors right there, you guys will see that. And then it doesn't matter if you go this way, this way, or that way, but as long as you have it on the area that you put the alcohol, you press firmly on your skin and you press the button. And hopefully, it doesn't hurt me. Sometimes it takes a lot of force to do it, to wait about like 10 seconds. Once that 10 seconds is clear, it should be on my skin already. You don't feel any in any needles or anything like that. Then you then what you do is press the side for 10, se 10 seconds or go around three times just to make sure the uh the thing is on there. You're ready to go. I'm not <laughs> and like I said, this is my first time doing this. 
Once that is on there really good, let's make sure everything is accurate here. And then you press the the uh, little gray part here for 10 seconds to make sure it's in correctly and so it can be able to function really good. And once the, once the set 10 seconds are up, you can be able to take your finger right off and you're good to go. Then you'll take your green patch, or if it's green, it's green. If it's, if it's a different color, then yeah. So you take the back of, of this off first. Just make sure you don't touch the, the, uh, the, you know, the, the st sticky part. I think the sticky part is over here. And then you, you get used to it after you uh, do it on your first try. And it's difficult trying to uh, take this off. So here we go. Take that one. And, and sometimes you can get it perfect, sometimes you can't. It just depends. And remember, you can't touch the, the sticky part again. Try to do your best. And then. So you're supposed to do this in the in front of the mirror, but I can see myself doing this. I don't know if you guys can see that. I may have to pull down my camera just a little bit so you can see. My sister's right here. And boom. And then you rub around 10 seconds like you did the sensor. Just to make everything is all sticky and ready to go. Make sure that's on there. And I like to give it, give it a firm pat to it so I can be ready to do, take my readings and stuff. And then after you put that on, it should stay in place for 10 days. And like I said before, uh, after the last day of your 10th day, you uh you have about twelve hours on that day to to change it and and I'll be putting it in this area so you guys will see that in the next video. So I want to make sure that was on and ready to go, and hopefully that will solve that that Dexcom. I can still feel it, but I don't have to get used to it in that spot. And that's about it. So that's cool. That's my uh, first time trying. Trying that on, so <laughs> and and then it, you don't feel anything, so that's pretty cool. Alrighty, so the aftermath of that, you know, you put the cap back on, and you can throw throw this away in the trash bin. You don't have to have a sharp container to to uh, you know dispose this because you know it's big. You can't fit it in the uh, in the uh, sharp container anyway, so. The best solution is just throw it out, at, you know, in a regular trash because you already got the lid on. After you insert the uh, the little receive the little uh, device I showed you that you know that I put it on my stomach. Um, the next video, you know, of this is gonna be probably on the other side of my stomach, so you guys will see. All right, so now we're gonna set up the receiver, and hopefully it's already have the full charge and ready to go. Um, to power it on is the little circle right here. Press that for three seconds. Make sure that up. Oh, there you go. We will have a chime to it. Now you're gonna set it up. You uh, you hit next if you hit that little little circle button to go to the next step. Welcome. You hit next. Terms and conditions. You read all the way down, just scroll down, you press the little scroll button here. You guys will see me do that. And there's already at that chart, that little cycle there, uh, is at 41% when it when it comes out the box. It's supposed to have a uh, a uh, you know little battery indicator that is you know half charged. You hit accept with the circle. Um month, day, and year. Or you could do like year, month, and date. It doesn't matter which one. Uh, you hit next. 12 hours. Five, three. Yeah. Perfect. Five, three. 
And it's not 10 a.m. And I made that mistake. <laughs> you see me scroll down trying to get the date. Uh, it is 2.37 my time, so I have to kind of adjust that. 2.24 p.m. And then 37, it might be 38 by the time I click on the little, little clock here. I may have to go on my phone to do that. So it's 38, sorry. <laughs> I have to get my phone to see what time it is. Usually I can see the countdown timer. I'm gonna go to my uh, clock on my phone, my iPhone here. Hmm, doesn't show me the actual the actual clock clock, but it's almost time. I'm gonna see if my Android device does have that feature. All right, 2.39. I'm gonna have to make it at 2.40, so it's gonna take me about a, like a minute and a half here. Once it's 2.40, I can be able to show you, show you guys, you know, the full action here. I wish my computer does have that little Second timer. Almost there. I did see it, and it's 2.40 right now. And I keep my hand on my camera, sorry guys. Not the best, best, best way to do this. So, next thing is safety, safety self, uh, a statement from them. Do not wear your G7 during MRIs or, or uh, digital harms treatment. You can get a CT scan if the sensor is covered with a lead, a lead a apron, or is it in a scanner during scanner or area? So it'd be like you gotta accept that. So is this telling you just be careful of you know metal detectors or the MRI device because it will mess it up you know completely. Treatment. Decisions treat your body if it if your number doesn't match but you know how it feels. Take a finger stick before treatment. And that's what I did. Um you guys will see that. I'm gonna show you guys right here everything. Um it says when in doubt get your meter out and then you press that accept button uh treatment decisions this is how the number reads here tells you everything when you have a number and an arrow you can use your receiver to make treatment decision decisions sorry uh no number no arrow no cgm treatment uh decisions that's what it says then you understand that uh trend areas show your glutinous trends tell you tell you where you are going and how 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 fast 
this little device. Steady is an arrow, slowing, raising, or falling. I'm gonna show you guys that. I was trying to see it here. Try not to knock my ca my camera here. Steady, sh slow, raising, raising or falling. You guys will see that. I'm gonna have to put put it here best as I can. Um, raising or falling. Rapid raise or falling. No area or no sorry. I keep my saying error. No arrows can determine trend. You guys will see that for sure. And that's about it. And then you hit next. Alert overview. You receive your receiver alert you when your glu glu glucose is too high or too low. It tells you all that here. This is what it looks like. And then you hit next, home screen target range. You guys will see that for sure. Urgent low, alert you when your sensor reading is 50, 55 mg or dl or below. This couldn't be, this could, couldn't be changed or turned off. Urgent low soon alerts you when your sensor reader will be 55 mg dl or below in less than 20 minutes. And then you just confirm the sensor. Confirm that your sensor is inserted before pairing. And I got to pair by device. Hopefully I hear a beep or something. And I'll show you all the diagrams and stuff. Sensor is inserted like I did. Now I gotta go get that number. Good thing I didn't throw that that number away. And I'm gonna do that off the camera here. Once you answer the enter the four digit code, keep that and you can be able to use your phone as well. Once you uh once you once you get that number on that little little uh that little uh you know sensor area like right here I'm covering the number so you guys will see that that you insert, that I insert on my skin earlier there's a number on the side of the QR code and then once you enter that Z number and it'll say searching for the device or the sensor that I insert earlier. And it says pairing, yep. And then it says pairing complete. Uh, always keep your receiver within 20 feet or of center. So 20 feet, like it could be in the next room, but you gotta be next to it when it reads. You hit next. And it'll tell me that I have a sensor warm up, which is a good thing I insert that earlier or otherwise I have to wait 20 minutes. It says your sensor is now warming up no sensor reading or alerts until warm up is done. Once that's done, you'll be all set to go, and it gives you a menu. And you can set your alerts and stuff so you know that if you're high or low. So that's pretty cool. And hopefully, uh, I'll come back and conclude this video for you guys. So sorry it takes so long, but hey, it's definitely worth it. Still waiting for that countdown clock. Almost time anyway. I was waiting for a few minutes here. Um pretty cool. I'm gonna try to set up the uh the the you know my phones and stuff and hopefully it gets the reading off of this this uh device too as well. Like I said before, you can connect three devices as long as you're in range. And it's twenty feet in range, so and I got do gotta charge this so uh Hopefully I get it. I get a ding, a ding or something. Um, this display is a little, it's a little small. 
I'm trying to see if I can keep this on for a little bit longer. There you go, little thing. That means it's ready. And my uh, reading is 208. And I keep on dropping it. This is so small. Here you go. Reading right now is 208. Three hours. Okay, menu. I'm just trying to see if this, if this is going to work. But hey, uh, concluded, I'm going to try to mess around with the setting, trying to do everything here, and hopefully, uh, you know, I get a better reading tonight, and, and I'll give you guys a little update, and and hopefully, you know, save my thoughts and stuff in the next video for the Dexcom uh, G7, because as of now, it's pretty good. It's going good. I mean, it doesn't sting, doesn't hurt to the touch, and... And I'm glad that everything works out. Um, I do have to, might have to adjust the padding here just a little bit, uh, but uh, hopefully I can be able to uh, show you guys my results within, within within the six days. And I'll, you know, like I said, we'll come back uh, tonight. I'm just going to relax and make make sure everything is working. And hopefully, you know, I'll start, you know, using the uh, the readings and stuff so it's pretty cool but anyway core express too thank you guys for watching please make sure to hit that sub button turn that notification bell follow everything in the description down below even your video ideas you can leave your ideas via email send it in and i will take a look you can also comment on this video or other videos on my channel please make sure to check out my tiktok it's really cool because i do a lot of stuff there too plus I have a new feature, which is live stream now. So you guys will see me live stream most of the time. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys later and hopefully on TikTok too as well.